The Pentecostal Bishops Forum of the 19 Northern State has condemned the escalating violence in the Southern Kaduna area, the wanton killings of residents and the destruction of property by unknown gunmen. The Forum of Bishops spoke to newsmen in Abuja, calling on the federal government to do more in protecting affected communities, saying enough is enough. The chairperson of the forum, Bishop John Praise, commended government for its efforts so far, but maintains that the effort is clearly not enough and not yielding desired results. Bishop Praise also tasked security agencies to live up to their billing and ensure the perpetrators of the attacks are dealt with. At the last count, Several communities have been attacked by armed herdsmen, alleged to be of Fulani extraction, while many have been killed and rendered homeless. At this press conference, it's not to blame the government outrightly, having noted its repeated claim of working tirelessly to arrest the ugly development. Though it is lamentable that no arrest and prosecution have been recorded to date of the real perpetrators. We are using this public platform to join our, our voices to the patriotic cries of concerned citizens and groups nationally and internationally, especially the Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN led by the able leadership of Reverend Dr. Samson Ayokunle and the Southern Karuna People's Union, Sukapo, to strongly call on President Muhammadu Buhari and the Governor of Kaduna State and other relevant government functionaries at various levels to do more and be seen to be doing everything humanly and materially possible to bring lasting succor to the the spoiled people. So what the government needs to do is to step up in their game. If there is a need to change the service chiefs, as some people suggest, or any other step they, could, they can take to improve on the security network of the country, they should do that and do that quickly. People are becoming very desperate. We are closer to the people than any other person. People are becoming very, very desperate all across the nation. These issues are getting to a point that this notion is boiling, to a point that there will be a lot of issues that we cannot contend with. I suggest that the government should arrange a truth and reconciliation committee. We have representatives at the National Assembly, yet all of these things are happening. And we want us to understand very clearly that this issue is not just a matter of the federal government alone. We have skirmishes in some other states, like we have the Jukun crisis in Benue State going on right now. If the government does not show that it has a responsibility to cater for the citizens, it is right for the citizens to begin to suspect that the government are complicit to what they are going through. Right now, on a daily basis, people are killed. The killing happening in southern Kaduna, where I come from, suggests that we don't have a government. The killing fields have not been visited officially by the government that be, whether at the federal level or at the state level, to give the people that are being killed confidence that they have a government. I believe that something needs to be done.